A few days back, I posted a story on Instagram stating uh, I want to sell my GT, and I came to this point after a lot of thought process. In fact, you know, GT is kind of my you know first super bike, you can say, or you know this high segment bike, you know above the 350 cc. Because prior to this, I was only riding a 350 cc or classic. Uh, but after the classic, uh, the bike which I took was and there's some noise. Yeah, but after the classic. Uh, the bike which I upgraded was the GT, so it was kind of very close to my heart. And uh, after I happened to take the Tiger, I almost stopped riding the GT. So I kind of felt it's of no use just uh, keeping it because I've ridden the Tiger more than what I've ridden the GT uh, from the past two years. And the Tiger is hardly what nine plus months now. And I kind of felt that uh, you know GT is not serving its purpose, so it's just no point uh, keeping around. And one more thing is uh, I'm kind of getting aged. Uh, you know, GT is for people, for all these young people is what I feel. It has this road presence, you know, this college going kids, uh, you know, want to show off or something like that. Uh, so I feel GT is for them. Uh, maybe if it was an interceptor, I would have might as well kept it. But GT, you know, I kind of get this wrist pain and the back ache and all, you'll have to lean and ride. So it's, uh, I kind of felt it's definitely not for touring. So I thought, uh, you know, it's not uh, good to prolong. Uh, it's been two years, I've got the feel of it. I felt it's time to pass on. Uh, maybe others can also get a feel of the bike. I in fact got uh, many queries, uh, uh, out of which I kind of uh, you know finalized uh, two or three people. Uh, so maybe that person might come down today, sir. Uh, so what I've done is, so what I've done is I've uh, washed the bike completely. I've put in some polish as well. So it's looking brand new. I kind of feel bad, you know, uh, selling this, but uh, you know um, when it's time, it's time. This will be missed for sure. I've done a lot of customization work. I mean, my customization. I had uh, wrapped this, this, the mudguard and all. Uh, I completely chromed it out. So yeah, this bike will surely be missed. Maybe it will. Uh, maybe it will. Nah, be happy with the new owner. Oof, after all this washing and all, you kind of get tired. It's like almost a cardio workout done. But that aside, I was just wondering uh, why is it so hard to let go of all your, uh, you know, cars or bikes or something like that. Uh, I mean, obviously you sell your mobiles, laptops and all, but uh, you don't feel the pain as such. I mean, uh, it's like, okay, fine. It was just a device and it's gone. But, uh, you know, when it comes to all this cars and bikes, uh, you kind of feel the pinch. And I don't know, this thought just came into my mind and I went deep uh, now wondering why is this. The only solution or the only reasoning why I found out is if you consider what some 50 or 60,000 years back, uh, humans are born explorers. I mean, they couldn't stay at one place. Like uh, they had to travel, they in search of food or shelter or whatever. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's in the DNA or it's in the genes. Uh, that's what I feel. Now when you, you know explore new places or uh, you know uh, go out to new destinations, these cars and bikes uh, kind of make you feel happy that uh, it's taking you to that destination. Uh, so maybe that's why the attachment, I mean that's the only reasoning uh, which I can think about. All said the bike might be going very soon. all the paperwork for the GT the owner or the new owner is coming down in like what 10-15 minutes so I'm just getting all the papers ready uh, we'll just sign and uh, it goes kind of feeling sad I know I've repeated it many times uh, but it is what it is so only three signs no no required no 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 code. once I get the RC I'll give you a call yeah yeah